up guys it's Ida and welcome back to my channel I have done quite a few different like how to cornrow your own hair videos or how to cornrow period and I decided it was finally time to do a how to French braid your own hair videos so you guys know when I talk about cornrows I always mention the fact that when you're cornrowing you want to do an outside plait rather than an inside because when you do an inside plait it turns into a French braid. So today I'm gonna to show you how a French braid actually looks when you do it on yourself. Once again, I'm just gonna mirror the screen so that it looks like my left hand is your left hand and my right hand is your right hand. And let's just get right into this video. I'm gonna use my wide tooth comb, seeing as I'm just gonna be doing kind of big French braids right now. So I'm just gonna part it. If you guys don't know how to part, or if you struggle a bit, I have got a parting tutorial that you can follow. So the way I'm gonna do it is part it and then part it down. This way we're gonna do a French braid going down. Okay, so I'm basically just parting a quarter of my hair and then tying the rest up. So as you can see, I have parted off this section of my hair. What I'm gonna do is take this big chunk of hair like this and this is what we're going to be working with so for the time being let me just plait this out of the way and you see how I'm plaiting right now this is exactly what we're going to be doing and this time you guys will be happy to know that I'm actually using my pointer finger my index finger rather than my middle finger to pick up hair quite a few of you were struggling with your middle finger um I honestly just use whatever works for me so if I'm doing some other people's hair I switch between whatever fingers I'm using and just do what works in the moment so the idea now is to part this into three sections and we're just gonna quickly practice our braiding so these are my three pieces of hair the outside ones are going over the middle and being pulled to the side then the outside one is again going over the middle the outside is going over the middle outside over the middle and each time I am picking it with my index finger and my thumb I'm pulling it to the side in the finger and thumb pulling the one from the outside to the inside pulling the one from the outside to the inside outside inside outside inside and that is literally the motion outside inside outside inside outside inside outside pulling it inside outside pulling it inside obviously alternating each side that you're picking from every single time so that is the foundation of the plait and i feel like this is what most people do anyways naturally when you're plaiting when you're braiding hair it's usually pulling the outside into the inside um and that is exactly why i feel like a french braid is a lot easier to learn so that being said we are going to start picking up hair now so i've already parted off this section remember here's the hair and we are going to separate that into three and this is how i'm holding it i've got my what fingers are these <laughs> all my other fingers are holding one side on my right hand got my index finger and my thumb holding the middle section and then I have my middle finger pointer finger and thumb holding it on that side and each time I am taking it from one side over I'm picking up hair at the same time my index finger is kind of like parting through and then picking up on the right hand side and pulling it over the middle now this piece is left over so now i'm going to pick up hair from here and bring it over to the other side to the other side and again scooping up hair so i use my thumb to do it and then use my pointer finger to get it like so and each time running my hand through my hair to not get it all tangled up so this is the side that i'm now picking up from I'm actually holding it with my middle finger and my thumb right now, holding it out of the way and then my index finger is gonna go under, scoop on from the left side and pull it over to me. 
so middle finger and thumb scooping to the left side and pulling it over from my left hand scooping it in pinching it in like that and then again middle finger and thumbs pinching the hair on the left hand side scooping with my index finger and pulling that side in whilst also picking up small amounts of hair every time i've already picked up a little bit of hair here can you see that this is the original hair and then this bit of fluff there is what i've picked up with my middle finger and my thumb holding the hair index finger is now going underneath this hair to the other side picking up the hair from the left hand side and pulling it in and then just doing the same thing over and over and over again and then just keep plaiting till the end i'm gonna do it a lot smaller so you can see a bit easier how my hands are moving and then we'll do a big one so we're going to start off by parting off a section again this is our section and then dividing that into three so one two three then each time i'm grabbing it with my middle finger and my thumb but i'm going over so like where i'm holding it i'm going behind the hair but over the middle piece which is here held in this thumb here over the middle piece and then grabbing the one that's on the outside on my left hand grabbing that and then somehow using my thumb and my and my index finger to grab grabbing it try not to grab too much hair each time grabbing a little hair with my index finger each time grabbing it in towards my thumb index finger in towards my thumb as you can see my thumb and index finger are now holding it here and then again the way i'm doing it again middle finger and thumb holds the hair in place whilst my index finger goes in and grabs it from my left hand my left hand now let's go as my thumb goes underneath it is picking up a little bit of hair along with the piece that's about to be picked up from my right hand so my thumb goes underneath holds a little piece of hair along with the piece that's about to be picked up then my index finger goes underneath that over the middle hair that side then you just keep going down 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 Let's see how it would look if we were going straight back rather than down to the side. When I'm doing it going back like that, I like to start off with a triangle parting. Let's try it a bit smaller. A triangle parting like that and have my hands positioned like this, one kind of over at the top and the other one underneath at a right angle part in the hair and picking it each time it's kind of like my thumb goes in and selects a little bit of hair adds it to the piece that i'm about to pick up index finger goes under over to the left hand side picks up the hair and then again the thumb is the one that's basically picking up the extra hair each time and that's what's going to keep it stuck to your scalp so the thumb goes under picks up a little bit of hair index finger goes in over the middle piece of hair all the way to the right hand side and scoops up some hair and then you just keep going down each time in the mid the thumb is picking up a little bit of hair and then the index finger is what's bringing the other side over and that's just what keeps happening you keep going down scooping hair a little bit with your thumb thumb goes in middle finger grabs that hair along with this extra hair that is here from the main plait extra hair is picked up here pinched on to the plait hair index finger goes under and over and grabs and then you just keep going 
down. And that is basically how you do a French braid. If anything does confuse you, let me know and I'll try to do a breakdown of it exactly step by step and I'll also do one on a mannequin so you know how to do it on somebody else's then. Until next time guys, peace, love and life.